today we study the examples on the three rules that is the trapezoidal rule simpson's one third rule and simpson's three eighth rule so first example evaluate integration 1 to 3 1 by 1 plus x dx by simpson's rule that means what simpson's rules means either one third rule or three eighth rule with four strips with four strips and eight strips so that is uh, dividing this interval 1 2 3 in uh, four uh, sub intervals or four strips or four sub parts okay or uh, and eight sub parts or eight strips and uh, when the simpson's one third rule is applicable if the number of sub intervals are even in number and when the simpson's three eighth rule is applicable if the number of intervals are multiples of three and these four and eight are not the numbers multiple of three and so we have to use the simpsons one third rule the simpsons three eighth rule is not applicable with four strips or eight strips or with the four sub intervals or eight sub intervals simpsons one third uh, three eighth rule is applicable if the number of sub intervals are multiples of three and these four and eight are not multiples of the three these are uh, e even numbers, 4 and 8, and that's why use Simpson's one-third rule. Here is uh, particularly Simpson's one-third rule is not mentioned in the example, but we have to use Simpson's one-third rule because Simpson's three-eighth rule is not applicable with four strips or eight strips. It's applicable if the number of sub-intervals are multiples of three. And there is uh, no such condition on trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule is applicable if the number of sub intervals are either even or multiple of three or not multiple of three and so determine the error by uh, direct integration that is we have to find the uh, direct integration uh, by using the rules of the integration and here first we have to solve this integration by using the numerical integration that is by using simpson's one third rule and so the given function is what fx is 1 by 1 plus x denote it is by 1 by 1 plus x by fx and a is 1 b is 3 that is a is 1 b is 3 and n is 4 that is we have to uh, first uh, uh, divide this interval 1 to 3 in four strips four sub intervals and each of length that is the length of each interval h is equal to what the formula is b minus a divided by n that is what b is uh, 3 uh, a is 1 uh, 3 minus 1 by this 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 that is 0.5 this is the length of each sub interval uh, therefore uh, then prepare this table that the first row is the values are the values of x and the second one contains the values of y or fx y or fx this function 1 by 1 plus x is either y or fx so this is this is the function and then find the value and these values so what are the end points of these four sub intervals so the first point is x value is one that is lower limit and then by adding point h we get the next point one plus point five is point one point five then again add one point five that is two then again one point uh, add point five only then point five one point five plus point five is two then 2 plus 0.5 is 2.5 and 2.5 plus 0.5 is 3 that is the upper limit so actually these values of x are 5 in numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 but the number of sub intervals are 4 because we know that uh, the end points are 5 in number uh, but the interval sub intervals are 4 in number the sub intervals the strips are 4 but the end points are 5 in number because uh, and what is this this is a this is a plus h this is a plus 2h a plus 3h and a plus 4h this is a plus 4h that is nh in the general theorem general proof of simpson's one third rule this is a plus nh and this is a or this is x naught this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 and this is x4 and the corresponding values of fx or y are what substitute uh, x is 1 in this place that is fx that is we have to find the value of fx at 1 
means substitute x is equal to 1. So 1 by 1 plus 1, that is 1 half, that is 0.5. Then, then we have to find the value at 1.5 of fx. So substitute here in fx, x as 1.5, that is 1 divided by 1.5. 1 plus 1.5 that is 1 by 2.5 by calculator find the value this answer then uh, substitute x is equal to 2 substitute x is equal to 2.5 and substitute x is equal to 3 so we get the values of this this value is what y not so starting from y not these values are what y1 y2 y3 and y4 so the corresponding value to x not or a is y not this is uh, corresponds to x1, this value. y1 is corresponding to x1. Similarly, the value of y2, y3, y4. So these are the values of y or function fx. Then write the Simpson's one third rule. And the Simpson's one third rule is what? The integration from a to b. Here is a is one, b is uh, three, fx dx. fx is this one by 1 plus x dx is equal to h by 3. What is the Simpson's one third rule? Is h by 3. Uh, this rule is one third rule. Therefore, h by 3 in, bra uh, in bracket, then what? y naught plus y4, the first value of y plus last value of the y. That is y naught plus y4. This is the Simpson's, Simpson's one third rule. The first value plus last value in one bracket plus two times other uh, values of y whose suffix are even plus four times so what are the suffix uh, even suffix values of y so that is y2 and y4 but y4 is h already uh, exist already present in the first bracket so except we have to write the two into what the even suffix values of y but what except the previous uh, except the first one and last one and so 2 y2 only one value having suffix uh, even other than first and last so uh, this is only one two into only one value y2 plus four into in bracket write the uh, values of y whose suffixes are what odd so what are the uh, odd term suffixes y1 and y3 so this is the uh, simpson's uh, one third rule so what is the simpson's one third rule this is the simpson's one third rule that h by 3 in bracket square bracket in round bracket first value of y that is y naught and plus y n last value first value plus last value plus two time what y4 y2 y4 y6 y8 what are the values these are the suffixes, if you have the suffixes, these are even suffixes, but what other than last and other than first and four times what y1 plus y3 plus y5 that is the suffixes are odd, but other than last one and first one. So this is the Simpson's one third rule. So by using Simpson's one third rule, we have this that h by three in bracket y naught plus y4. That is first value plus last value plus two times the even suffixes plus four times the odd suffixes values of y. So then substitute h as 0 0.5 divided by 3. Then value of y naught is 0 0.5. Value of y4 is 0 0.25. Uh, plus 2 into this y2 plus 4 into y1 and y1. This is y1 and y3. And calculate by using calculation calculator we have this answer point six nine three two so this is the integration one to three one by one plus x dx answer is what point six nine three two obviously this answer is approximate answer because uh, all these methods use the integration value of integral approximate value of integration and then we, we have to solve the same problem by using simpson's one third rule but by dividing this interval 1 to 3 in 8 strips. So again, fx is the same, a is the same, b is the same, but n is what? n is 8. And h is what? b minus a by n. That is, we get the value well, with uh, h, this 0. 0.25. Because the number of sub-intervals are what? Then h, we have to divide this interval of integration 
that is a 1 to 3 into 8 equal sub intervals 8 strips or 8 sub parts and therefore h is what the length of each interval is what d minus a by n 3 minus 1 by 8 that is 0 0.25 and then prepare the table that is the first row uh, contains the values of x the, the second row are the values of y or fx and what are the values of x starting from 1 because the lower limit is 1 and adding 0.25 that is adding h we get the further values so 1 plus 0 0.25 1 0.25 then 1 plus 1.25 plus 0.25 is 1.5 then similarly adding 0.25 we get the next values of the x and then lastly we get 3 that is upper limit if we count the number of values of x then what are that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the number of strips are 8 the number of sub intervals are 8 but the number of values of uh, x are in a 9 number because the end points of the end points of the uh, sub intervals are 9 in number the number of sub intervals are 8 but the end points of the sub intervals are 9 in number so these are the uh, values of x then the values of y or fx so by using the formula what is the formula for fx 1 by 1 plus x find the values of uh, y or fx that is substitute x as 1 x as uh, 0.25 1.25 1.5 in this formula what is the formula 1 by 1 plus x we get what these values of fx or y and uh, what are these values this is the y naught this is y1 this is y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 y8 so okay so starting from y naught and the last value is y8 and then by simpson's one third rule integration 1 2 3 fx dx or 1 by 1 plus x dx is equal to h by 3 in bracket the in first round bracket first value of y plus last value y naught plus y8 plus two time in bracket the addition of values of y whose suffixes are even so what are that y2 y4 y6 y8 is a value of y whose suffix is uh, even but it already already in the first bracket that present in the first bracket so except what are the what are the addition of these uh, y values of y the values whose suffixes are even but from except first and last first and last then plus four times uh, the what are the values the whose suffixes are odd but other than first and last so what are the suffixes odd suffixes values of y y1 y3 y5 and y7 so y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus y7 don't write this double sign plus right y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus y7 and then substitute the values of all these y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8. We get this answer 0 0.6931. So this integration. So previous answer is what? By uh, dividing uh, four strips, we have the answer 0 0.6932. And here we get the answer 0 0.6931. So uh, next is what? By direct integration. The question is what? Determine the error by direct integration so first we find the this integration 1 to 3 1 by 1 plus x dx by using direct rules that is the rules of the integration and so here is the rule 1 by 1 plus 1 by uh, 1 by ax plus b so what is the integration log ax plus b divided by a so its integration is what log 1 plus x divided by 1 so no need to write the divided by 1 because a is 1 and then 1 to 3 square bracket the limit are what 1 to 3 so what we get the value at the upper limit the value at the upper limit minus value at the lower limit so log 3 minus log 2 substitute x as 3 then what do we have x as 3 here write log 4 
log 4 minus log 2. So right here in place of 3, 4, log 4 minus log 2. And what is the value of log 4? Calculate this by using calculator, but uh, use the log ln because here is the base is E. So uh, by calculator, use the knob ln while counting this uh, value of uh, log 3. So how we can find uh, log 3 by using calculator? Use the knob ln because your, uh, uh, your uh, calculator having two knobs, ln and log. So when we use uh, log knob, if the base is 10, and when we use ln knob, if the base is E, so here the base is E, and that's why I use the knob ln, and so find log 3, uh, not log 3, log 4, here is uh, write 4, while writing your uh, notebook, write here 4, log 4, because value of this bracket at 3 is what, log 1 plus 3 means log 4, minus a value at the uh, 1 of this bracket is what log 1 plus 1 that is log 2 this is right but this is wrong right here log 4 and the value is what 1.6931 so this answer if you compare the second answer then uh, these two answers having error 0 but if we compare the first uh, first answer that is by uh, dividing the same rule but by dividing the interval in uh, four steps the answer is what 0.6932. So what is the error in the first answer? The correct answer and the, uh, the approximate answer or the answer by using the first, first method that is by uh, dividing the interval in four steps we have the uh, error point not 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 one. That is this answer, is, first answer is correct up to three decimal places but this answer in the second case the answer is what? The error is zero. That is the answer correct up to four decimal places. And so uh, we observe from this example that if we divide the interval of integration in more parts, more sub intervals, then accuracy of the answer uh, increase. That is we get more correct answer. Uh, if we divide the interval of integration in a large number of sub intervals, then we get uh, we increase the accuracy, accuracy of answer. The answer, if we, if you have to um, find a more correct answer, then divide the interval in uh, more sub parts, sub intervals. Uh, it is if uh, this instruction is not given that uh, divide this uh, interval in four strips or eight strips or nine strips, then uh, we decide the number of sub intervals. This number. Okay, so if we have to use the trapezoidal rule, divide the interval in uh, uh, any number of uh, intervals. But if I have to use the Simpson's one third rule, then divide this interval in even number. And if I have to use the Simpson's gate rule, then divide the interval of integration in uh, multiples of three. So next example calculate the approximate value of this integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx. So the uh, interval of integration is what? 0 to pi by 2, 0 to 90 is the interval of integration. And we have to calculate this integration by using trapezoidal rule and by using Simpson's rule using 11 ordinates using 11 ordinates, 11 ordinates, ordinates means the values of x. If these ordinates, when these ordinates are 11, if you divide the number of, uh, uh, if you divide the interval in uh, 10 equal parts, that is we have to use the Simpson's one third rule because if we divide the interval uh, 0 to pi by 2 in uh, 10 sub intervals, then only Simpson's rules is applicable. Trapezoidal rule is also applicable. But if we, if we have to use the Simpson's rules, means we, if we have to use the Simpson's one third rule. 11 ordinates. 11 ordinates means what? These values of x are 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So ordinates are 11 means number of sub intervals are 10. That is n is 10. 
so we have to solve this example um, uh, integration by using trapezoidal rule and simpson's uh, one third rule if this is not given suppose these 11 ordinates or number of sub intervals then we decide number of sub intervals but here we have to divide the interval 0 to pi by 2 into 10 sub intervals and therefore fx is this sin x a is 0 lower limit b is pi by 2 that is 90 and n is what 10 we are go we solve these both examples trapezoidal rule by using uh, trapezoidal rule and simpson's one third rule by dividing the interval in 10 equal sub intervals so h is what b minus a by n that is pi by 20 and then values of x prepare this table the values of x are what first value is 0 lower limit and then adding pi by 20 we have the next value that is this is a this is a plus h a plus 2 h a plus 3 h a plus 4 h and so on so what is the what is the value of the next value add pi by 20 plus pi by 20 is pi by 10 pi by 10 plus uh, pi by uh, 20 is 3 pi by 20 and in this way by adding pi by 20 we have the next value so here use uh, notation pi and then we have the answer pi by 2 last answer is pi by 2 and this is the 11th value of x but actually the number of sub intervals are 10 and then find the values of y or fx corresponding to all these values by using this function that is substitute uh, x i 0 we get sine 0 is 0 then sine pi by 20 so how we can find sine pi by 20 this uh, sine pi by 20 by using calculator but by converting calculator to radian because this pi by 20 is in the radian form and so convert the calculator to radian because your calculator usually is in the degree mode so by uh, changing the mode to radian uh, find the value of sine pi by 20 sine pi by 10 sine 3 pi by 20 on all these values sine pi by 2 that is sine 90 is 1 okay and these are the values of y naught y1 y2 starting this notation don't write first y1 y2 y3 this is y naught y1 y2 and this is y10 actually this is the 11th value and then write the simpson's uh, uh, one third rule that is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx is what h by 2 first by using trapezoidal rule so what is the trapezoidal rule h by 2 uh, those h by 2 in bracket the first value plus last value of y so y naught plus y 10 this is the first value plus last value plus two times all the remaining values except first and last that is y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 y8 and y9 okay and substitute all these values of this y naught to y uh, y10 we get this answer this uh, h is pi by 20 by 2 means pi by 4 and all the addition of all these we have this answer that uh, y naught is 0 y y10 is 1 and two time all these values of y1 y2 y3 and then we have this answer 0.9979 we have this answer okay uh, after uh, adding all these numbers similarly by simpson's one third rule we use simpson's one third rule we what we have 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx is h by 3 y not first plus last plus two time even suffix four times odd suffix substitute all the values and we get this answer so by using simpson's uh, one third rule we have this answer and by using uh, trapezoidal rule we have this answer okay so the same problem uh, by using trapezoidal rule and simpson's rule and the remaining problems we are going to see all the remaining problems in the next lecture and also the exercise is given to you in the next lecture.